Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This video today is a follow-up to a previous video in which we talked about how to use the mobile application All Trails for hiking and backpacking. And so today we are in Alaska and as you can see I'm getting ready for our morning run which is part of our two mile a day for 30 days challenge that you can check at some point when we're done. But anyway, so today I wanted to make this video so that I can walk you through the whole process start to finish about how to use the application starting right here from the hotel room where I have reliable internet. I'm going to download the map on my phone and then once I get to the trailhead, I will show you exactly how you can use it. So I already found the trail here on the app that has the distance and the level of difficulty that I'm interested in. And this one here is called Elderberry Park to Westchester. It's a 2.3 mile hike with an elevation gain of 157 easy enough for us to run this morning. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is to download the map to my phone. And this is basically going to allow me to use it even if I don't have access to the internet. So I go in here, I choose the first option to download all trails. And then right now it's downloading. It's going to take a little bit of time here depending on the speed of your internet. All right, and then from here, I'm going to click the green arrow. It says map layer downloaded. This map layer is currently using 14 MB of space keep so i'm gonna keep it here all right so we're good to go the map is downloaded to my phone there's one thing that i want to check and if you are on an iphone you want to go to settings and you scroll all the way down until you find the all trails app i'm going to click there and you always want to make sure that your location is enabled for this specific application uh, so I go to location and there are some options to say a low location access never ask next time while using the app. So I'm just keep it as always right now and then we're good to go. We're going to head the trail and then we'll take you to the next step. And the other thing that's going to be helpful down the road is making this trail as a favorite and I'm going to show you why. So you just click the heart button on the top right and from there you can choose which list you want to add it to. It doesn't really matter. So for me, I'm just going to add it to my wish list. And then it's a favorite trail right now. This is going to be helpful in the next step. All right, so I'm trying to hide a little bit under this tree since it's raining right now, but we just got to the trailhead following the old trails direction. And that's by clicking directions. And we basically just drove until we found this start point here. So right now I am at the trailhead. I do have service, but in many scenarios, you won't have access to the internet. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to turn off my cellular service and I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. All right. So this is going to be close to a real life scenario. So right now I am at the trailhead. I'm going to click the heart button and I'm going to go to maps. And the first map that I see here on my phone is the trail that I'm interested in. It's already downloaded to my phone. So I go in there, click the map, and then there are three dots in the top right of the screen here. I can go in there and then I would want to click load into recorder. All right. And then the recording screen is going to be up on the screen right now. And I can go ahead and click the record button and start my hike or my run. This is what I'm going to do right now. Let's hit record and let's get going. All right, so I'm trying to find the spot here where I can go a little bit off trail to demonstrate what the map is going to tell me. So let's see. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take an off trail. I'm gonna run a little bit off trail to see if the map is gonna yell at me. Okay, this is exactly what I thought. The map is telling me or giving me an off route alert. This is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. This is the off-route notification. All right, let's get back to the trail. I'm running very slow for the challenge today, but I'm very happy that I was able to show you this, guys. 
So let's see. I think it's right here. Coastal trail. Very beautiful. So this is it. I just followed the trail back to where I started and then stopped my recording. <laughs>